speaking now about uh, power plants and splitters. Um, splitters come in a range of sizes. Um, there's two basic types in terms of the connectors. There's the, the uh, coax type, which is called IEC and F type connectors. On tvtrade.ie, we only sell F type connectors, so far superior to IEC in terms of strength of connection and also the very low levels in terms of loss. So, what we do is we take, um, in, in this particular example here, we have a two way, a three way, a four way, a six way, and an eight way splitter, which would normally cover the full range of splitters. And there's two types of splitters you can use. You can use a passive splitter, which is just for unpowered signal, and you can use power passive splitters, which will be used in situations um, where you have a power unit such as this, and a mass and amplifier such as this underneath the area. And in such circumstances, if the power unit, if the if the splitter is being used in between the power unit and the mass and amplifier, it must be a power passing type. Otherwise, the 12 volt signal from the power unit will not be able to pass to the mass and amplifier. So of these area ones that I have here, uh, you can see an ordinary two-way splitter here. It simply has an in and it has an out. Okay? Now there's no lines on it to mark that it independently can pass power. But in the, in the case of our three-way power passing splitters, which once again comes in two, three, four, six, and eight-way versions, um, you can see there's a dotted line which is joining the in to the out, okay? And the in, in this case, would be the area, and the out will be the power unit, okay? So what we will do with this particular um, scenario is, we will come along, and we will grab uh, the splitter, and we will screw the area, the wire coming from the area, directly into uh, the in port, okay? So the area is now uh, feeding into the splitter, and what we do next is we take a cable, and use this cable to connect to the power out port, the one that has the, uh, a line from the um, a dotted line connected to it. So this is actually capable of carrying a 12 volt signal. And we run it from there directly into a power unit. So I'll just wire up the power unit as we speak here now. So now if we plug in this power unit, it will um, do two things. Um, first of all, this splitter here allows the power unit uh, the power to pass into the area, um, which is obviously an important task. And secondly, it provides a number of additional ports. So we can connect two other televisions um, directly, but perhaps this power splitter might be located in the attic, to two other places in the house. And um, with those two other things, um, we don't need power points there. Everything has been powered by the single power unit, which could be located normally in the attic uh, or down in the living room. Um, on this particular path, it's essential that we have no obstacles that would stop the flow of the 12 volt signal. So that would exclude using most face plates and also generally excludes the use of um, coax connectors and coax joiners. F connectors are ideal uh, and, um, uh, for this particular job. So if we want to, we can now grab an additional cable here, such as this, which might come from an, another bedroom, connect it into the splitter, and now we have a second room with television in it. Also, in the room where the if the, this power unit was can, uh, being used in a particular living room, we can actually feed the television directly from the power unit as well. So this truly is a true red splitter in terms of it can feed televisions from these two ports and also from the port that's coming from the television. E equally, you could downgrade it to a two-way port or upgrade it all the way to an eight-way port. Uh, the final point we'll make is it's not necessary to use all the ports. You can leave empty ports as excess capacity and at a later date you can add on an additional um, aerial. But you don't really want to overly spec the aerial in terms of using an 8-way port when you're only going to connect two televisions because the level of loss in an 8-way splitter will be considerably higher than on a 2- or 3-way splitter. Uh, so that's it. Um, I, 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 that's a general overview of power passing splitters and also a full guide in terms of how they're installed and how they work.